<clears throat> Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an alternative Christmas tree tag. It's, let me just get that right in front of my face, that's so much better. See, little robin in a Christmas holly tree. Rather like this. Anyway, come with me. I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so we've got the watercolour card tag and it's the small size. Stencil brush size 9 with some Elements Ink Della Blue and then a touch of Violet Chalk blended together to create pockets of colour. And then we're going to add some confetti into it as well. And some Sundance, I think. Yes, there we go. I'm changing brushes in between colour so that it doesn't become muddy. And then the outside edge, I'm using Elements Ink Dark Denim. And that stops it from looking grey and lifts it to blue as its background colour. Do love that. Now, with a spray bottle, spraying some water onto my craft mat, using a fan brush, and just flicking some water over it to create that lovely mottled effect that sort of it makes you imagine the warmth of dawn you know well it does me <laughs> and this is me heating it up with my heat tool just to because I'm impatient <laughs> now we're going to add a stencil now and the stencil I've chosen is the ivy stencil and I'm using Elements Ink Graphite to just create a couple of leafy hidey pla hiding places for our robin. So there's one at the bottom and one at the top. So let's move on to stamping. So I've got my Versafine Clear Warm Breeze and the Mini Holly Stamp. And I'm just stamping around the outside of the tag. Unfortunately, I'm really sorry, it appears that my camera took a walk all by itself. Looks like I've cropped the screen, but I really haven't. So we've got some holly in the top left and some across the centre. And now I'm going to take the larger of the robins from the Bird Collection stamp and ink it up with my Versafine Claire Warm Breeze. And just place him as close as I can get him to that holly. Now I have got one of the expression watercolour pencils as close as I can get to that colour of Warm Breeze just to help me fill in any gaps I feel are missing. But yes, I'm going to crack open those Posca pens and just as before, I will use the Apple Green Posca pen to just go around the outside edges of those holly leaves and also fill in any gaps that perhaps I want to fill, like for example making sure that there is somewhere for that poor little robin to perch on. And because I've gone round the outside with this Posca pen, I can just add a little line or two for him to stand on. So you see going round the outside of those holly leaves. Not all of them necessarily, just some of them. Fab. So I've got the sparkly yellow Posca and I'm just going to dot it around the outside of where our Robin is. I love these sort of subtle colours. It looks almost, you know, dawn chorus time. 
time for bird song. And this is our liquid pearls raspberry. And I'm just going to use that for our holly berries. I've obviously got distracted and thought before I do any more, I'm just going to give Robin his red breast. So this is Cosmic Shimmer Metallic Gilding Polish Rich Red, which is rather lovely. And if we just add it in places and smudge it with your finger, you get subtle hints of this reddish colour that help to add to your Christmas feel, your festive feel, that jolly red colour. The colour of Santa's suit. And it brings out Robin's red breast. So it makes you look. Just giving Robin an eye with a white Posca pen. And continuing on with those liquid pearls. Making sure that the holly has got all the berries we want him to have. Adding more if you feel like you want to. Because that, the berry colour does lift it. And place the holly and the robin very firmly in the front of the picture. Which is what we wanted. I think that's rather lovely. What am I doing now? Off camera. Come on, Emma Jo. Sentiment sticker set two. And we've gone with Christmas tree. And there you have it. An alternative Christmas tree tag. Well done. You did it. I really enjoyed this tag. It sort of crept up on me. I, I liked the subtle raspberry berry rather than the scarlet holly berry. There's a place for it, but there's also a place for a bit of gentleness. And I felt like this was, you know, birdsong, dawn, the holly and the ivy. It, very festive, but in a sort of subtle, shh, it's sort of gentle way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you very much for coming along and watching. Um, I'm... If you'd like to leave any comments in the post below, please do, and I'll do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. Okay, you take care. See you again soon.